Okay, so this is really exciting <laughs> that I decided to record a video while I'm in my uh, robe and ready to go to bed. <laughs> so just today I was looking at some forum posts on something unrelated to what I'm going to talk now, but I came across a very weird and unique use of filter XML. And I thought, gosh, this could be used to extract words from sentence. Now we all know that Excel doesn't have a split or extract functionality as a formula. You could use Power Query or text to columns or one of those features to extract things, but it's not automated. So if you have a sentence, it could be a keyword or a phrase or, or some, some sort of a sentence or client name or something, and you want to extract a part of it, it gets pretty darn difficult to do that uh, through the formulas. So normally what happens is people use these obscenely long array formulas or concocted multi-column uh, splitting options through formulas and they tend to be very slow or cumbersome or not so scalable. So that's where the filter XML option works beautifully well. Now keep in mind that it would only work in Excel 2013 and above, that's already six, seven years old. So I'm assuming most of you folks have access to this version of Excel. So we go to Excel here. Uh, you have a super long sentence here um, with, with several words. Um, and we assume uh, quite naively, but most practically that the words are separated by spaces. But if there are some other punctuation marks, it's easy to use a replace or substitute to um, put, um, you know, change them to spaces. So once you have something like that, you could use filter XML. I'll choose, just do a demonstration here. If I want the fourth word, I just type four here and I get the word sentence which is the fourth word in that uh, sentence there. Likewise, if I want the eighth word, uh, that would be words. Okay, so how does this really work? What we do is we take the original sentence and we turn it into valid XML. So this is where uh, you can uh, you can use any formula. What I did is I added within, curly, uh, within angular brackets data and then A. Uh, it can be anything. It doesn't really have to be data and A. It could be uh, a and B or A, B, C and D, I think it'll work just the same. And then I substituted all the spaces with close angular bracket A and then open angular bracket A and then ended this with close angular bracket A and then close angular bracket data. So what this does is it kind of creates a XML schema where you have a, a structure called data and it contains several nodes. All of these are A nodes. Um, with the actual word in there. So once you have some sort of valid XML like that, you can use filter XML. So this is how filter XML works. Filter XML is a function that was built mainly to extract uh, bits from web data, but we are using it to extract things from the spreadsheet data. So filter XML, dar XML, and what's the path? The path would be, um, I believe it's this uh, data and then, uh, a and then if you put within square brackets which a you want if i want the third a um, i will get the third th third a element of this which is just long so that's what we get that's how the extractor is built uh, whereas it says three we could kind of link that into a cell so this is how i wrote it here filter xml from c5 uh, data a and then within square brackets the value that that we are inputting there so that's how uh, this filter XML option works. It's fairly uh, powerful and non-fussy way to extract bits from a long sentence. I think uh, you find this approach interesting and useful and uh, you could use it. Now, what if you want to extract the very last one? Uh, you could, for example, count the words and then extract the last one, but that's not necessary with filter XML. Even if you don't know how many words are there, you could use, um, filter XML, uh, the original XML, and then we will simply say, uh, is it data A, and then within square brackets last as a function. 
and that will just give you the very last letter or very very last uh, word uh, that is in the a tags so this is uh, how you could use uh, filter xml i hope you found this useful and interesting i was super excited to see this so that's why i had to come back and share it with you before i go to bed uh, so if you now excuse me i'll wrap up wrap up this video uh, please see the description to download the example file and uh, discuss this idea with uh, uh, with others thank you bye bye